And Charlie and Michael, I want to talk about Liz Cheney for a moment. She was interviewed by Leslie Stahl in 60 Minutes, an extraordinary interview last night. And Leslie asked her about her past opposition to same-sex marriage, despite her sister being gay. Let me play her answer. I was wrong. Um, I was wrong. Uh, I love my sister very much. Uh, I uh, uh, love uh, her family very much, uh, and, uh, and and I was wrong. It's a it's a very personal issue, uh, and very personal for my family. I uh, believe that my dad was right, and my sister and I have had that conversation. Uh, Michael, first to you, you know Liz Cheney. That was a very hard issue for her and a hard answer. Um, look, well, she's this is a, as this conservative is an issue as anyone of... in, on the House side on everything but January 6th. She voted 93 percent with Donald Trump on, on other issues. So she's, you know, she's facing a very tough reelect as well. I think this is an issue overall that has changed more in terms of public opinion and the public debate over the past five years than it has in the previous 5,000. And a lot of that change has come as a result of people talking to friends and in particularly family uh, about their experiences in their lives. And it's a wonderful change to see happen. I think it's exciting to see her on the, the right side of history on this issue. But you can see it's, it's a personal, it's an emotional issue, as it is for so many people. And Charlie, I mean, we saw it, as Michael was just referring yeah. to, Senator Portman, others who have family members in the Republican Party, uh, the, the big shift, a big shift in public opinion. Well, uh, look, the hardest three words for people in politics to say these days are, I was wrong. Um, and you could tell this was deeply personal. This was a family issue. This was not a part of a political calculation. Uh, Liz Cheney did not, was not looking at public opinion polls. She didn't have her finger up. She, um, I also think that it, it, you know, testing the wind. I, I, I also think that, you know, in the context of that interview where she was so strong, um, you know, reaffirming that she was still a very conservative Republican, um, that moment was striking. And I do think that it was it was authentic, it was genuine, and I think it reflected uh, real emotion and and that internal family dynamic. It was uh, it was a remarkable moment. Another great interview by my friend Leslie Stahl, by the way, over on 60 Minutes.